to congratulate him now officially on his appointment as the ambassador of Egypt and on behalf of my family. But I am I've been requested also to speak on behalf of this community and the leaders around here. That I'm representing you in congratulating Outa on his appointment to the great country of Egypt. Dongo Ramo Kanyo. Donge Kanya Tiko Mabel. Alingura ne kanyo. Alingura ne ase wacho kanyo. Koro. We have come here also for thanksgiving. And when we thank give, when we come to thank to give thanks to the Lord, there are certain key things that we need to think about. The speaker of today, the great pastor, talked about resetting. And you know, as I came here this morning and as there was a choir singing, I saw Uta standing up. And then he started to dance Kidogo. And I could see that he had reset in the dance style. No miel kangama koro sengye yo mi miel go ki se di Egypt kuja dongune no man. And I'm happy. Nisi. Omera. 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 Ayu reko komudo anjeno. Lingura linga. Ningure ni adwa adwa ni uchiki tu mondo jo motelo gi olosu. Winyo gi mangizu no. Mara dek. Mara dek adwa ni winyo. We have come also to give thanks to our president and I know he has been thanked enough. It is not enough. Because we must thank him for choosing one of us to represent this entire community of the county of Kisumu of Nyanza in that diplomatic appointment. And I know that he means well for our people. It is our responsibility to work to closely with him to ensure that we, we get greater support and greater development as we progress. Now, as Outa goes to Egypt, I know Ninge Ninja Ochele. And I know my son Gumbo talked about this. Egypt, Ija Momichele, 95% of the population of Egypt eat rice. The entire population of that other Middle East place eat rice. And also of uh, Eritrea. You are our MP here in Nyando, and we thank you for doing so well with RISE when you are here. You now have an extra opportunity to see what else that we can do with our RISE as you go to Egypt. Maybe it is an opportunity for us to give them more as we work together with them. And they are also cotton growing, and we also do it here in Kisumu and also in Homer Bay. The responsibility that has been given to you is enormous, but we thank God that you are equal to the task. You will be able to do it. And 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 my request, Nikach is high calling for you. Tine and Neka Poru Korinya Lolo Kori Ibed Ibed a diplomatic mission going forward. To Beke Hero, Dondalono Yurubeka say Wokuru in Mueri Timoni Bika on your webinar, the Gueru Kamano, Nasai Mondo Kuedu. Mine will be very, very brief. First and foremost, I want to thank the Almighty Father for giving us this great opportunity and I want to specifically thank him for giving my great friend, Fred Ota, his great and infinite mercies. Equally, ladies and gentlemen, 
allow me to greatly thank our beloved president for having considered it wise to appoint Fred Outa as his representative in Cairo. In fact, the position the president has given Fred Outa is very, very significant and highly symbolic. Fred will not be like any other ambassador, but he will be our extraordinary and plenipotentiary representative for Kenya. Donguinyo katam no pek yodalawa. Iliongone extraordinary and plenty potential. Hey, you heard that from him that he will be in charge of uh, Egypt, Eritrea, and also Jordan, isn't it? So that is a very, very great appointment. That is a very, very great favor that the president has extended to us as the Luo nation. So my appeal to you, my request to you, my prayer to you, my brothers and sisters, if we really love friends, let us also love the appointing authority. And I want us to remember where we have come from. Somebody reminded us here that during the last general elections, Tulipatiara is wetu kidogo ile kama panya. Lakini yeye ametupatia kiti kikubwa. Sinamna yu? I want to thank him. There was a time, ladies and gentlemen, ambaye mimi peke yangu ndiyo nilikuwa na naonekana huku kidogo kidogo, wengine walikuwa wanaogopa. So personally, I'm very happy today that our house is growing bigger and bigger. And I want to appeal to you, nyinyi ambao bado mko inje, kujeni hapa wanainchi wenzangu, tujenge sirikali. My sisters and brothers who are still out, this is the time. Please, come and utilize this opportunity. Come so that we can benefit from this olive branch that the president has extended to us. You have heard here that the president is working very, very hard to ensure that none other than Raila Amolo Dinga, the guy he bitterly competed with during the last general elections, he is the very one who is now looking for the good of Raila. He is the one who is now holding Raila's hand Lakini nyinyi bado mebaki inje. And remember he said here that the appointment is symbolic. Allow me or Mr. Mia just to remind uh, my brothers and sisters why I'm using the term symbolic. Where Fred is going to represent Kenya, historically that is where the Luo nation came from. When you wanna soma historia wanajua ya kwamba sisi tulifuata mto nael. Tukikuja hapa. Hey. <laughs> Wanainji oe. Kuradu hawa choni. Oh, kani isomu isu rima tin. Jomano uke lugi milu ngoni civilization Egypt. Jomano uke the great pyramids. Historically, those must have been the Luos who brought civilization to the world. So, Fred Ota is being sent to our ancestral home to go and find out the great history and the, uh, the scientific and cultural and even economic transformations that have taken place over the years that is now making Egypt to be more superior than Kenya in terms of trade. In fact, Bwanagumbo ably put it here. What Fred Ohuta is going to do for us there is to go and study and get the good reasons why in our current account with the Egyptians we have a deficit. If you are talking about the balance of trade, in fact, Egypt is doing far much more than Kenya. Yet, the products that we import from Egypt, 
Number one is sugarcane, which we can ably grow here. Number two is rice. We have a lot of arable land here that can support sugarcane growing and also rice growing. So in terms of the money that we are just or, or sending out, money that would have otherwise uh, assisted in strengthening our economy and also stabilizing the Kenya shilling, we are spending like over 200 billion going to uh, the purchase of sugar and, and rice. So that is the kind of money that uh, Fred kindly go there and uh, let us know, advise the government so that we create the jobs because job creation is a national challenge. We want to give our farmers the opportunity to grow. 200 billion is a lot of money that we must not just allow to be moving out in activities that we can, we can ably carry out. Now, last but not least, reset, rethink, re-strategize. That is what the church puts to you. I think you are now set. We are blessing you. The church has given you your blessings. And those of us who are remaining behind, tafadhalini, wacha tuweke amani ya kutosha. From the church here, we can see very, very good examples. The church does not discriminate. Whether you are ODM, whether you are UDA, they preach to you. Nobody fights another one, isn't it? But ourselves, we have perfected the fight using very crude uh, weapons. Kama iya mawe. You know iya mawe, tulisoma wakati tulikuwa Egypt. That is why David used a stone to kill Goliath, isn't it? Yeah, so waja tu wajene na iyo maneno ya mawe, let us improve a bit and concentrate on our economic well-being. I welcome you to UDA and I want us you to feel free and belong to any political transformation or political formation that you feel will serve you better. Asante ni sana na mungu wa bari. Oh, Pakruoth, time will not allow me I want to thank the Lord God Almighty for our friend and brother-in-law, Fred Ohuta, for the honor that God has done for him. I want to welcome you as a mother and a leader from this region. I come from Nyando. Mr. Speaker, this is my village. When I met you asking me, are you going to be there? But then I said, but you are coming home. So most welcome. Thank you very much for gracing this occasion. We want to take this opportunity to, pray, uh, to thank the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellent Excellency William Samoe Ruto, for the honor that he has given to this region, to our very own Nyarua Thohuta from today, Iluongoni Ambassador. Thank you for being elevated. We are going to pray for you, support you in every way, and I'm inheriting Yogi Duto Miwechien. Don't I inherit Yoko Uta Duto? So you are not orphans. Don't get anti. I will take care of you. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to give my sister Elizabeth Ongoro. Thank you much to the church and uh, the speaker of the National Assembly. I don't know if you appreciate the person in our midst today. He is the third in command. Do you appreciate Jodalawa? Kwae president, the deputy, number dek, emubet kani. Don't get one more. Very briefly, sir. To the CS, our one and only, Eliud Dowalo. To the government, government spokesperson, and to the speaker of the National Assembly. One word, one message from this region from the Luo nation. You have the ear of the president. Tell him, I come with a lot of gratitude from the county of Nairobi, 
from Nairobi to Mombasa to Migori to Siaya to Kisumu to everywhere the Luo nation says thank you thank you for holding the hands of our sons and daughters they were two now they are three tell him thank you number two I remember how you traversed this land during the NASA campaigns sometimes God rewards people in different ways. We thank God. Lastly, we are very, very happy with the appointment of Wauta Nyarath, His Excellency. However, we have to really sit down and think. There's a number. Tia namba moroka nyomo uta incha goyo. Nyaka wabed ping mondo wapar. Maybe wari ready a beach e kamondo wago number no. May the Lord just bless you as you continue on your journey to Egypt. Thank you very much. God bless.